Todd and Frazier's training tip for the day. When you're teaching um, young horse how to move off of leg press, how do you know when they have truly moved off of leg pressure? Well, for me, I want to put them in a working advantage. So I want to be able to not have to make them move over, but I want to be able to put my leg in, or in my spur, and put it in there and wait until they move off. So how do I know when they've moved off? Because if I put my leg in, he kind of moved off right there. It wasn't that bad. But I want to be, I want to make sure that I, he really, really knows that I'm moving just the hip whenever I place my leg back a little bit further. So when I place that spur in, I'm, that's moving off, but I'm gonna kind of pick up and hold it and help him until he steps and crosses over with that back leg. So I'm looking for his hind left leg, whenever I put the spur in, to cross over the hind right leg, or the inside back leg to cross over the outside back leg. When he crosses over, then I know for sure that I've gotten him to move off of my left spur. That right there is better. So I can isolate it. I just keep my spur in until he really moves that off. When he moves it off, then I can let the pressure out. Same thing goes with the shoulder. As it is the hip, inside his, his left front leg, I can push my spur in until he crosses over. Crosses over, I give him a couple of times, and then I let my leg out. I'm not forcing him to move over, I'm teaching him to move over. So I put my spur in and I hold it until he takes and he crosses over deeper. When he crosses over deeper, I want more. That's moving the shoulder. Same thing is gonna be applied whenever I go to ask one to spin. Because the deeper he steps on that inside foot, he's going to spin better. So when I apply my outside leg pressure, I'll hold it until that inside leg steps deep. So I can be real specific about what I want. I want an inside step deep because it makes it easier for his other leg to cross over. So when applying pressure, it's easy one to move over, whether it's in the middle of his rib cage, I'm asking for both front and back, or if I'm doing it up by the shoulder and I want specifically just the shoulder, or if I'm picking up and I'm asking for the hip and not the shoulder, I can pick up and ask for more. Good, and that's his hip. But I know that he's moved off whenever he's crossed over his back, over, over his inside leg in front of his outside. There's your training tip for the day.